G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at May 29th, 2025's Count Up by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our subs here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Um, I'm going to be working through my backlog very, very quickly tonight. Um, so, uh, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you. That's right, you there. Uh, you can find the links to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into today's puzzle almost immediately. Because uh, if memory serves, this one was Hecker's. Um, this is Count Up. So, what is Count Up? Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box... Each row and each column must contain the digits once and nine once each. Hi, Betty. Want to get on the couch? Sorry, this is my dog. Uh, she's just come home from Grandma, and she's a little anxious because she's back with uh, Dada. Nope, never mind. All right. Um. So, uh, where was I? Oh yes. Um. Each gray line contains an arithmetic sequence. So, uh, one. Da, 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 as, a, as an example um, so in each in either increasing uh, and each gray line contains an arithmetic sequence of digits in either increasing or decreasing order so in an arithmetic sequence this is the easy part so this is the part that's going to make a lot of uh, make it a lot easier um, each pair of adjacent digits has the same difference, such as 3579 or 741. So, um, like, that could be like 1, 2, 3, 4, or it could be 1, 3, 5, 7. Uh, however, it couldn't be 1, 4, 7, 0, because that would need to be 10. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. No, never mind. She will get on the couch in a minute, I swear. Um, also, I think it's just because uh, in Australia right now, it's winter and it's daylight savings. So uh, it's dark and she thinks it's later than it is. And she's like, Dad, it's bedtime. we got to go. So, um, pardon me. Uh, that's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, I'm going to get into it now. Let's get going. So... I totally forgot how to start this one, gang. Um, so, uh, what I do know is that each of these lines is four long. Now, um, hang on. I think Betty's going to go one more time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Catch. 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 Come on. Let's do it. Come on, you got this. I, I believe in you. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> the real question is, stay for the video and see how long it takes for her to get up on the couch. Is she going to do it before we get to the end of the video? I'm, I'm leaving her a back door. Um, to her favorite spot. Alright, so. Uh, now. all of, What I was saying was, each of these can only be uh, a... Uh, dis difference of one or two because uh, because each of these is four cells long that means there's three differences between them and a difference of three would mean nine so we either know that it's a distance of one or a distance of two so uh, things I could do right off the bat is I know that that's a two eight pair how do I know that that's a two eight pair uh, because uh, in this one, we've got one, uh, one, three, five, seven, and nine, and four, six can't go in these two cells, so four and six have to go there. That is going to give us our first digit. How do we know that's that's going to give us our first digit? Uh, because uh, if this was four, four to an eight, then this breaks for two reasons: because this would need to have either six there or a ten there. So we know that that's two. 3 and 1. We can now put the 8 here. Uh, now, what is the next thing that we can do here? 
So, this has to go down, so it's either 5, 3, and 1, or 6, 5, and 4. That's not going to do it. Alright. Uh, do I know enough about that one? Nope. Uh, 4, 3, 2... I don't know enough about that one either. Um, let's try the ones that I think are the most restricted. Uh, this one can only ever be a dis uh, difference of one. Uh, so this is either... I'm just going to start pencil marking like wildly. Uh, Alright, so uh, this has to go up. So it's either 3, 4, 5 or 4, 6, 8. Uh, this can either be 4, 5, 6 or 5, 7, 9. Uh, eight can either be six, four, two, or seven, six, five. Uh, that's a four, six pair. Oh, uh, speaking of pairs, there we go. That's a three, four pair. Uh, now that three, four pair, uh, means that this can never be four. So this is five, this is four, this is three, and this is three, four, five. That's really helpful. Uh, and that four comes back down here, turns that into six, so that's seven and five. All right, now, uh, this is either six, five, four, which it can't be, which means it must be five, three, and one. Uh, seeing the five up here puts that as four, five, and six. Uh, I now know that that can't be one, uh, one, two, three, four, because that three there is going to rule it out. So this is now two, three. Uh, oy, oy. I literally just did the silly thing. All right. Um, nine. If this was a distance of two or a difference of two, nine, seven, five, that breaks because I got a seven there and a five there. So this has to be eight, seven, and six. Now, oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right, what do I know? Uh, this can never have a dis dis uh, difference of two, so it must be a difference of one. And it can't go up because I've got a six there. I al always had a six from there, so it must go down. That's four, three, and two. That's all of the sequence lines done in today's puzzle. So we're going to just do some classic Sudoku. My dog has completely disappeared, by the way. Um... Down here, seven goes here. This is now one and a nine. Uh, this is six and two and one. Uh, this is fingers crossed the second last video I record on uh, this laptop. And uh, I would edit out all that stuff about uh, dear old Betty. Um, but I can't because these were the settings I needed to use to record. Uh, six and two to fill out row three. Uh, two and four, I mean that two and four must go there, but that's an eight, so that's an eight and a nine, and this is a five. Uh, don't have one and seven. Uh, that was two and four, so this is eight and nine. Uh, I have broken uh, my reliance on pencil marking, uh, or unreliance, I guess. Uh, one can't go in one of those two cells, so one has to go there. That's a three and a nine. Uh, this is an eight. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, what is five going row four? Uh, five must go there. Um, six can't go there, so six is here. Uh, one and nine go there. Uh, da, 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 da. um, what else? Eight goes there. Uh, six goes here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that's six. The one here means that one has to go there. That's nine, one, nine. Uh, nine, eight, nine. Uh, this is now one, which is seven and one. Uh, seven and two, that's seven bouncing back. Uh, two here, eight's gonna unwind uh, box nine for us. And then we just have uh, nine here, four there. And this is two, four, and three and two. Uh, this has been Count Up Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. There is st still no sign of Betty. She'll come back, I swear. But uh, I hope you had a wonderful time uh, solving this puzzle. I know I did. It's a good one. Um, and I'll catch you next time.
Tschüss.